no pain anywhere, right? So then I want to take his elbow, straighten it, put a light pressure to make sure he can lock this arm. Now, if someone has a shoulder issue, go the other one. If, let's say someone comes in, you let this down, and they have shoulders that just they can't really lift either one because there's pain, arthritis, whatever it may be, use a surrogate. Meaning, take another person and test them, but keep the intent that you're testing for this person. And this is nothing new. This, since some people, this may be the first time you see this, others may say, hey, old hat, we know that you can test another person and test someone in the room, someone who's not physically here, because energy can cross all barriers. It can be someone on the other side of this, this earth, this planet. So with having permission to touch, making sure his shoulder's okay, next thing I'm gonna do is check his polarity. Okay? Now this is the third eye known to some. This is the pineal gland reflex to others. But right now my intent is just to check the polarity, positive and negative. So if I touch with the, this side of the body is the positive side, anatomical position, right? Anatomical here. This is positive, the back side is negative. So when I go to touch somebody, fingertips are positive. If I do this, or even do a knuckle, that is the negative side, the back of the body. And it's as simple as that. So once again, strong arm, positive, negative. And I don't have to push very hard to get a response. Now just to show you the energy exists, positive, negative, even just in his field. Now meridians run different directions, they have Directions they go here, they have directions they go here. All right? So if I'm testing a muscle, strong, make sure that locks, and I run along the length of here, it should be strong. If I reverse the flow, there it goes again. So when meridians run this direction, and this is, once again, I'm testing him to make sure he is electrical. Oh, rub, here, here. All right? So this goes along the same principles. Where I really learn this is through martial arts. If he's holding a knife, all right? and we go to disengage a weapon from somebody in martial arts. Remember, meridians are running here, normally. Well, you can reverse the flow to disengage a weapon. Meaning, if he goes to stab me with something, I reverse the flow. And that's how you're able to disarm people. If I attack him this way, well, I just made him stronger. So the old master knew that if you disengage and electrically short circuit him for just a moment, you're gonna be able to dis disengage this weapon. So in healing, it's, the, it's just the intent. They apply different directions. The one that goes up, conception vessel, he's gonna go weak. If I go up, he's gonna go strong. So once again, I'm testing, making sure his body is electrical. And uh, you see he's passing all the tests for the directions. All right? 